Rubbish is archaeology. That might sound odd, but it's true. Lots of things that are found during archaeological digs are actually things that are intentionally discarded. But far from being worthless, these things can tell us a great deal about the people who threw them away. They can tell us about what those people ate, how they lived, what they wore, and many other things. This week, it's the second part of the Council for British Archaeology's Festival of Archaeology, and we are thinking about common archaeological finds, what they are made of, and how long they usually survive in the ground. Senior archaeologist for North Somerset, Cat Lodge, tells us a bit about common archaeological finds and what a person's rubbish can tell us about the way that they lived. Archaeology is all about people, and the remains they've left behind can help us to understand what life was like in the past. The definition of archaeology is the study of the human past through material culture or remains. We can tell a lot from items that people have discarded or lost, and in some cases what they've buried as offerings to gods for good health or harvests. Archaeologists ask questions about how people lived in the past, what they wore and ate, what tools they used for different activities, and how they died. In order to answer these questions, we have to look at the evidence recovered from archaeological sites. This can include different objects such as pottery, coins, weapons, jewellery, and many other artefacts. And we can also learn a lot from soil samples about past environments, like what sort of plants were growing at a particular time. On almost all archaeological sites, there will be sheds of pottery. And this can tell us about the different forms of vessels that were used and help us to date a site. Pottery can also tell us about trade. Some forms of pottery would have been brought across from Europe along with new groups of people who settled in Britain, such as the Beaker people in the Bronze Age and the Romans. Animal bones are often discarded, and these help us to understand what animals may have been kept as livestock, such as sheep, pigs, cows and goats. Most of these animals would have also been used for their meat and skins, and we find evidence of this through cut marks on bones or the tools used to remove those skins. Think about what you throw away today. Which objects are likely to decompose first, and which objects might survive? On archaeological sites, we find that pottery, metal, glass, flint and bone tend to survive better than objects made from fabric, wood and leather. Organic remains, things that were once living, break down easily and decay, unless they're preserved under special conditions such as hot and dry, airless, waterlogged and very cold environments. Inorganic remains, things that were never living, such as stone, metal and glass, will not rot or decay in the way that organic remains do. Different burial conditions will also affect how objects are preserved. Materials such as stone and pottery will survive in almost all conditions. Bone usually survives well, but in very acidic soils such as sand or gravel, it can be reduced to almost nothing. Metal objects easily corrode or rust, but a thick layer of corrosion can often mean that the metal objects themselves survive. The things that people left behind in the past can survive in the ground for a long time depending on what they're made from. But what do the things that we are discarding into the ground in the present day say about us? Do most of these things rot away, or do they stay the same for hundreds of years hanging around in landfill or causing problems in the oceans? This week we'll be setting you some challenges to explore both common archaeological finds and also to think about the things we throw away today, what they are made of, and how we can reduce the negative impact our waste is having on the planet. Join us from tomorrow and for the rest of the half-term week to see what challenges we have set for you.